Yo, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going over the best AMD graphics card settings for the new Arc Raiders update, Cold Snap. Now this will give you max FPS and visibility in the game. And don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, you'll find it helpful. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. Let's get into our Windows settings. First, we're going to go down to the search bar and we're going to type game mode and we're going to go into game mode settings now once you're in here we're going to make sure that game mode is turned on to optimize your pc uh for play by turning things off in the background make sure that one's turned on next click on related settings graphics and in here you're going to make sure the advanced graphics settings and make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is also turned on and as you can see here, optimizations for Windows game is turned on also. And then once you're done with that one, you can close out of that. Right now, we're going to change our power plan option. So we're going to go to the search bar and you're going to type power plan. And you're going to go down to setting, choose a power plan. Once you're in there, you're going to see a few options. Now, by default, you probably don't have this ultimate performance power plan. So we will show you how to get that. You will probably most likely have balance and a couple of other ones here, high performance, power saver. But what we really want is this ultimate performance one here. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to write to uh, go to the search bar. You're going to type CMD and you're going to click run as administrator and obviously click yes to go into that. Then once you're in there, you're going to go down into the, uh, the comment section down there and you're going to grab the CMD uh, to add a power, ultimate power source plan. You're going to put that right in here and press enter. And you hit enter, and then once you refresh your power plan, you're going to actually see this ultimate performance power plan in here. Right now that you've got the ultimate power, uh, ultimate performance power plan, you can close out of that one and we're all done. Right now, the next very important thing we're going to do is we're going to go into search bar and we're going to type update. We're going to check for updates. There was a new update that just came out recently, which helped with the performance of Windows across multiple games. So especially if you're on an AMD card, you need to make sure you've done your most recent update um if you're going to update history you can see what i've just done here this uh which one did i do recently 2060 the 11th so i've done all these ones right here i think this is kb507033 make sure you do all these updates and make sure everything is the most up to date possibly in your windows currently because it will give you more performance for your amd card once you're up to date you can close all that one and you're all done all right next we're going to go and right click on our task manager and we're going to open up task manager let me make this bigger for you guys. Now that we're in here, oh, it's gone smaller. Now that we're in here, we're going to go to startup apps. What you're going to, have to do is you're going to select the startup apps that you do not wish to be running as soon as you open um, you open up Windows here. So for me, example, I've turned off Copilot, phone link devices, Microsoft Teams. I don't want any of the stuff off. I don't want it opening up uh, as soon as I open when uh, as soon as I open Windows and everything like that. So I make sure that one is. Set to how I wish from enable to disabled to do that. All you do is right click on them, go enable or right click on them and then go disabled if you want to turn them off. Uh, basically, this will stop the, them running in the background when you're trying to play your games and taking up resources for your performance. Once we're all done with that and you've got every, everything how you like, you can close out of that one and you're all done. All right, now we're all done with the Windows settings. We're going to jump straight into the in-game settings to maximize our FPS and visibility in the game. And then straight after that, we're gonna be getting into the AMD Adrenaline software. So let's get into the in-game settings first. All right, now that we're in the game, we're gonna go straight over to the graphics card settings, uh, the graphics tab over here, sorry, on the right, and we're going to run through the settings. So Windows mode, I've got this on borderless full screen. I found this best because I use multiple monitors and tab out. Make sure your display resolution set to your current monitor's refresh rate. So mine's 20, uh, 1440p. So if this is blocked out for you and it is something you don't want, you can change this to um, which one is exclusive. And uh, you can change that to however you like. But as by default, um, borderless full screen and mine set to 1440p. AMD FSR 3 frame generation, I currently am not using. This will give you that sort of fake frames. It will give you boost in frames. However, they all sort of are, are fake frames in between. They slice them in between the actual frames. So use that one as you wish, but I don't recommend using frame generation. VSync I currently have turned off. AMD Anti-Lag 2 we currently have turned on. Frame rate we have currently on unlimited. Uh, resolution we're currently set at 1440p. AMD FSR 3, so this is something we will look over in the AMD Adrenaline software settings. But AMD FSR 3, but it's actually using FSR 4, and I have this set to quality. You can use uh, native AA if you wish, but I find quality is pretty good. Uh, native AA is obviously a full 100% resolution, and uh, quality is just a little bit lower to give you a boost in, uh, in performance and in, in frames. Uh, field of view, we're currently have set to 80. Uh, motion blue, we don't want that on. If you have the ability to turn that on, we don't want it on. RTX global illumination set to statics. 
down to the quality tab down here, we're going to have it on custom as we change our settings. So view distance currently on epic, anti-aliasing low, shadows on epic, post-processing low, textures I have on high, uh, effects on low, reflections low, foliage low, global illumination resolution on low. Uh, for the in-game performance overlay, I just have it on simple. This will show you your FPS in game if that's what you wish. And these last two we currently have on, idle energy saving on, inactive window energy saving on as well. Over to the audio tab, audio is obviously by preference, however you want to uh, play around with your sounds here for mass volume effects and everything like that. However, the only thing I recommend is that with the uh, proximity voice chat, uh, you make sure you have it on whatever you wish to do. So I have mine on toggle, so I press the Z button and they can hear me in the game. Um, and there is a way to obviously increase the uh, audio you hear, so proximity voice chat volume, I only have on 175. This makes it louder for everyone else that can hear if you're streaming or anything like that. But if you're playing the game, it also makes it louder for your own audio and through your headset. So make sure you turn that one if you need the proximity voice chat up louder. So there's everything for the best in-game graphics settings for our creators for the new uh, update, the cold snap update. We're going to jump into the AMD side of things where we have made some tweaks since my last video, which I do think help with those 1% lows, uh, the, the visu visibility as well, and also the performance. So let's go jump into that. All right, now that we're in the AMD Adrenaline software at the home page here, we're going to go manage for updates. And we're going to check and make sure that AMD is currently up to date with the most recent um, drivers uh, and also with the most recent AMD software adrenaline edition as well so there was an update on the 12th of December so make sure you have the one currently installed once you've done that so you can go over to your gaming tab you're going to find arc raiders and click on arc raiders if you don't have arc raiders here in the gaming tab you click on the three dots on the right and you go add game and you find it wherever arc raiders is for me it's on my desktop once you go that, you go back into your Arc Raiders game. We're going to run through these settings real quick. So AMD Super Resolution as disabled, fluid motion frames disabled, um, AMD FSR upscaling. So this is the difference. This is the new sort of AMD uh, upscaling they have. It's no longer FSR 4. It's now called FSR upscaling, which is uh, upgrade to the latest uh, ML um, machine learning based FSR in supported games. So we currently have this one enabled. Uh, and this will give you that sort of uh, AMD FSR 4, essentially it's just been renamed for inside Arc Raiders. So make sure you have this one enabled for Arc Raiders. AMD FSR gen frame generation, we have turned off. Anti-lag, I do have turned on. Do play around with this. Um, I do, I'm still testing it, but I do prefer it on. Still kind of feels a little bit smoother for me. Uh, Radio on chill, we have disabled. Image sharpening, make sure you have image sharpening enabled. This will make your game a lot more sharper because uh, it just brings out the... the you know, the edges and everything a little bit nicer and a little bit crisper and a little cleaner. So I had that set to about 80%, but do play around and see what works best for you and your monitor. 80% seems to be the best for myself. Uh, radio and enhanced sync is disabled. Wait for vertical refresh rate off unless specified. Anti-aliasing, use application settings. Uh, aliasing method, multi-sampling, morphological, disabled. Anisotropic filtering, we do have enabled and we have it set to 16 times. Texture filter. Quality we have set to standard, but we're actually going to put this one on performance. Uh, surface format optimization, we're also going to turn that one on and make sure that is enabled. This will let the driver optimize texture formats for better performance with minimal impact on image quality. So make sure you have surface format optimization enabled also. Tessellation mode set to AMD optimize and GL buffering we have disabled. Uh, for the color settings over here, we're going to go and make sure a custom color is turned on and we're going to do saturation and we're going to turn that one up just a little bit to 125 and don't touch anything else here. This will make the game a little bit more cleaner, a little more nice with the red, greens and blues in your game. <clears throat> All right, next we're going to go into the settings cog over here on the right and we're going to go into our preferences and we're going to make sure that all the stuff here on this left side make sure it is all switched off because this is basically in-game overlays and we'll use some of your performance and make sure that all this stuff over here is turned off in our display settings over here we're going to make sure our monitor is selected as display one and we're going to change our pixel format make sure that's on rgb 4x4x4 four four four, and the color depth is at 8 bcp uh, and this is obviously our preferred display over in the performance tab into tuning I have actually found out, and I think this is better for most gaming at the moment, a resizable bar, I have this one currently disabled. To do that, you need to go into your BIOS um, and switch it off in there. If it is enabled for you, it's not too bad. It really doesn't make a huge difference. I just think it makes a small enough difference that uh, I have it currently disabled. So I'm still playing around with it, but as I said, resizable bar, I have set mine to disabled. If you have an AMD CPU and GPU, you will have the SAM. Um, option over here so make sure you have that one also enabled as well and that is everything for today's video if you enjoy make sure you please like subscribe 
and hit the bell notification for content, for content uploads and live streams. If you found this video useful, I appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one.